Hello world and welcome to this edition of Tech on Fire with Blaze. I'm Blaze Stewart, architect at Wendelect, and today we're going to be looking at a quick video on event grid system topics. Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about some more data integration services today. We're going to be looking at Azure Event Grid. This is a fairly straightforward topic, so I'm just going to go right to a deck and look at what this is, and then we'll do a quick demo of how you can set this up to get stuff out of Azure and use that in your data workloads. So what exactly is an Azure Event Grid? It's pretty straightforward. Basically what you have with the Azure Event Grid is some kind of event source. So this is an event source that generally speaking, originates on Azure. So it's coming from some kind of Azure resource. Now it is possible to do custom events with EventGrid, but for the most part, what you're gonna be using EventGrid for is listening to things that happen in Azure resources. So all of these different resources right here can emit events that you can listen for on an event grid. So when you go to configure one of these things, you basically have to set up the event grid, you choose a system event grid, and that allows you to pick one of these several services here. And then with that service, then you integrate that with other services. So that selects the source, and then that goes into the event grid service that is what takes it out of whatever resource you're working with, and then it puts that onto some kind of event handler. So what you need to do then is inside of event grid is wire up some kind of event handler to listen to an event source. Now, a single source can have multiple handlers, so I can have a blob storage account that originates a blob or creates a blob or deletes a blob. And I can wire up multiple handlers for that, such as an Azure function, a service bus, or even a webhook. So these functionally work more like topics in the idea of a topics and queues. But at the same time, what you end up with is a pattern that you can use to listen to all kinds of things on Azure and then create services that are downstream of those events without having to pull for things or do deltas on things. This is just event-driven architecture right out of Azure that you can integrate into your services and applications. So I'm here in the Azure portal and what I want to happen in this particular demo is I want to be able to take this storage account and get notified whenever I have a new blob that gets uploaded into this storage account. Now to do that, I can do that a number of ways, but what I have is an application running on premises. And what I want to do with that application is do something in that application whenever there's a new blob that is uploaded to this particular storage account. Now maybe the event that fires this will allow me to process something in this storage account, whatever it might be. That's not really what I'm interested in. I want to see how I can get the action of blob uploaded into an event that I can then consume through a message that comes into an application that I have running on my local desktop here. And that's pretty straightforward. So to do that, first thing I need to do is create some resources. So I'm going to create a service bus and I'm going to create an event grid. So I'm going to start off with the event grid topic. Um, it, event grid topic right here. And I'm gonna choose system topic. Now you can do uh, other types of topics, but we're gonna be working with an event grid topic. And that a system topic that is, and system topics are the ones that originate from Microsoft. So these are gonna be Microsoft originated messages, not custom messages, but ones that I end up creating from events that I do on Azure. So uh, the schema for all of these is going to be determined by Azure, not something I defined. So to make this work, I basically come over here and I choose a topic type. And for this one, I want blob storage. So I'm gonna go with storage accounts. And uh, for this particular subscription, I'm gonna choose this one. It's got a resource group, which is the one I'm currently using. And there's that resource I'm gonna be working with. Now, it's gonna want me to choose a topic name. So I'm gonna call it blob, uh, blob or new blob. How about that? That's a good name for it. And I don't have to turn on some of that, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now I don't need to tag it, and I'm just gonna simply create this resource. And that's gonna create the event grid topic. So that's part of the equation. So what I need is some way to uh, publish that message whenever it comes through my system. So to do that, I'm gonna use a service bus. Now, service bus is one of the possible ways to do this. Um, it's not the only way, uh, but whatever it might be, it's just a very common way to handle this. So I'm gonna call this one Blaze SB1 or something like that. I'm gonna put this in East US 
And uh, I can use basic for this particular demo, which should be fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and create this service bus topic. And let me go ahead and create that. And uh, we'll come back whenever that finishes. Okay, I'm here in the Azure portal. And what I wanna do is wire up this storage account to this event grid topic. And that's already done by virtue of just creating the event grid topic. And now I'm gonna wire this event grid topic up to this service bus. And then I'm gonna wire the service bus up to my application. So this is pretty straightforward. So the first thing I need to do is create a queue. And now a queue, I'm just gonna call it new blob. And uh, right here, you gotta create a new blob to search for one. And I'm gonna create a new blob. And that's just gonna take the defaults and uh, it's going to be a fairly straightforward queue there. And now I'm going to wire up this event grid topic to that particular service bus queue. Now this is pretty easy to do here. You can just click on an event subscription. And on this one, you can choose the schema that you want. I'm gonna call this particular one new blob too. And you can choose the schema that you want. I'm gonna go with the event grid schema, which is the, the default here. And I can choose the you know, filter if I so choose. I'm going to basically just use a blob created filter uh, because I'm not interested in deleted blobs or any other actions that happen. And now I'm going to choose the input type or endpoint type. And I can use other ones like functions or webhooks. Webhooks would be very useful if you're doing something off of Azure. And I can use storage queues, event hubs, and other ones on Azure as well. But since I'm using a service bus, I'm gonna use a service bus queue. And I'm gonna select the endpoint here. And it's basically just gonna to default to everything in this resource group. I'm using the same subscription and resource group. It's the only service bus I have and the only queue that I have. So I'm gonna confirm that and then just click create. And that's gonna create the subscription in the event grid system topic. So now if everything is working, what I have as of right now is I have the storage account sending events up to this system topic right here. And then that's going to forward that onto the service bus. Now to, to wire up the service bus, I need to get a connection string and then wire up my application to that. So I'm gonna come over here to uh, these shared access policies. I'm gonna select this one right here. I'm gonna choose this connection string. And let's go back over here to my code. And I'm just gonna populate this connection string that I have right here with this new one and save it. And the queue name is already new blob, which is the same one I gave it a minute ago. So I should be able to open up a new command prompt window and go ahead and start this application. Uh, JS. And that is running. So now let's upload some blobs and I should be able to see those events bubble up through the system into my application after I upload these blobs. So I'm gonna come back over here to files. I'm gonna click upload and I'm going to choose a bunch of files. I'll click upload and then we should be able to watch those come in through my application if everything is wired up correctly. If I click upload first, it might help if I clicked upload. And we should start to see the first ones come in any minute now. There they are. And this sometimes is uh, pretty fast. I mean, it's not instantaneous, but it's faster than polling or something like that. So usually it's a few seconds delay at most, but usually it's almost instantaneous, uh, less than a second between when the blob hits the storage account and whenever I receive the message back in my application. So that usually is just a very quick, uh, very fast event. Now, if I was sending the whole blob, of course, that would take a while, but you probably wouldn't want to do that anyway. You would want to send a notification that, hey, a new blob's uploaded, and then you would want to download that blob from the storage account with whatever code that you have handling it in that storage account. So that's a pretty straightforward way of handling this. So you can see that we are just using some of the built-in functionality with Azure to get notified with an application running on premises of when something is happening in the Azure ecosystem. So this is one way to use it. There's a ton of other ways, but this is a fairly common way to use uh, event grid topics in, with, in conjunction with service bus queues, or you can use it just by calling a webhook and something like that. So hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be doing more demonstrations with data integration services like this on future videos. 
If you like this content, please consider visiting us online at www.wintelect.com and there you can find about services that Wintelect offers including training and consulting services. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to get notifications when new content becomes available and also comment down below. You can also follow me on Twitter at the one mule and also follow Wintelect on Twitter at Wintelect now or at Wintelect. We are constantly posting things about Azure related technologies and things related to software development. You can also reach us by email at consulting at Until next time, thank you.